Desilting of the lagoon is about trying to remove about 45,000 cubic metres of sediment that's been built up over the last 80 to 100 years um, within the basin. The, the detention basin is for stormwater, um, so we've actually got 17 discharge pipes coming in that will lunge the lagoon. The lagoon uh, stores as much as it can before it discharges to the river. During um, high rainfall events and things like that, uh, localised flooding has occurred over the last 18 months. But this will help uh, reduce and minimise those kinds of impacts on the local uh, area and also help um, with council's infrastructure and uh, obviously try and rehabilitate them back to 100% uh, working efficiency. There's substantial work to go on here, up to $2 million worth of work, cleaning out uh, the silt that's been here for some time. When this uh, contract is complete down this end of the lagoon and the water's back in the lagoon, it'll be much better for flora and fauna around this area and much better for the community to come down and have a look at uh, the area down here. It'll look much uh, neater and tidier. So not only is the lagoon there for the community to come down and enjoy, but it's also uh, an area where uh, in heavy rain uh, it's a storage area for uh, uh, the excess water that uh, comes into this, this area, uh, it only goes out slow out the other end, so it's a storage area in heavy rainfall and uh, that's important to us as well. We've seen uh, Ivan Jack Road underwater several times over the last 18 months as well. Um, this should help reduce that, minimise that and uh, hopefully you know, allow us to increase our um, rainfall intensity that we can cater for for our assets. No, we won't be looking at doing this every 80 to 100 years. Uh, once we remove that, this is stage one of the project, we remove the sediment, we get the infrastructure back up to work in order ASAP. Um, and then throughout the next few years, we'll try to go through the 17 discharge points that do enter the Wollongi Lagoon and install what we call a gross pollutant trap. These traps obviously catch, uh, they capture the sediment, uh, rubbish, things like that. We've allowed four months uh, without any interruptions. Obviously it is the stormwater basin. Any kind of rainfall event, any kind of flows can't be restricted. Um, and we need the water to flow continually and we can't impede on that. So as soon as we do get a rain event, any kind of water entering the basin, equipment has to be um, taken out. I welcome the work that started here this morning. I hope the residents around uh, can put up with a little bit of uh, inconvenience for the time being, uh, maybe uh, odours, things like that, uh, but once uh, this is complete and uh, filled with water again, it'll be in uh, much better condition for the neighbours around here.